ASEAN Convention Against Trafficking in Persons, Especially Women and Children, Criminalization of Trafficking in Persons. Chapter 2, Criminalization. Article 5, Criminalization of Trafficking in Persons. 1. Each party shall adopt such legislative and other measures as may be necessary to establish as criminal offenses the conduct set forth in Article 2 of this Convention, when committed intentionally. 2. Each party shall also adopt such legislative and other measures as may be necessary to establish as criminal offenses. a. Subject to the basic concepts of its legal systems attempting to commit an offense established in accordance with paragraph 1 of this article. b. Participating as an accomplice in an offense established in accordance with paragraph 1 of this article. c. Organizing or directing other persons to commit an offense established in accordance with paragraph 1 of this article. 3. Each party shall adopt such legislative or other measures as may be appropriate so that offenders are liable to higher penalties than usual if any of the following aggravating circumstances are present. a. Where the offense involves serious injury or death of the victim or another person, including death as a result of suicide. B. Where the offense involves a victim who is particularly vulnerable such as a child or a person who is unable to fully take care of or protect himself or herself because of a physical or mental disability or condition. C. Where the offense exposed the victim to a life-threatening illness, including HIV-AIDS. D. Where the offense involves more than one victim. E. Where the crime was committed as part of the activity of an organized criminal group. F. Where the offender has been previously convicted for the same or similar offenses. G. Where the offense was committed by a public official in the performance of his or her public duties. Article 6. Criminalization of Participation in an Organized Criminal Group. 1. Each party shall, in relation to offenses covered by this convention as provided in Article 3, adopt such legislative and other measures as may be necessary to establish as criminal offenses, when trafficking in persons is committed intentionally. A. Either or both of the following as criminal offenses distinct from those involving the attempt or completion of the criminal activity. I. Agreeing with one or more other persons to commit a serious crime for a purpose relating directly or indirectly to the obtaining of a financial or other material benefit and, where required by domestic law. Involving an act undertaken by one of the participants in furtherance of the agreement or involving an organized criminal group. 2. Conduct by a person who, with knowledge of either the aim and general criminal activity of an organized criminal group or its intention to commit the crimes in question, takes an active part in a. Criminal activities of the organized criminal group. b. Other activities of the organized criminal group in the knowledge that his or her participation will contribute to the achievement of the above-described criminal aim. B. Organizing, directing, aiding, abetting, facilitating, or counseling the commission of serious crime involving an organized criminal group. 2. The knowledge, intent, aim, purpose, or agreement referred to in paragraph 1 of this article may be inferred from objective factual circumstances. Article 7. Criminalization of the laundering of proceeds of crime. Each party shall in relation to offenses covered by this convention as provided in Article 3, adopt, in accordance with fundamental principles of its domestic law, such legislative and other measures as may be necessary to establish as criminal offenses, when committed intentionally. a. i. The conversion or transfer of property, knowing that such property is the proceeds of crime, for the purpose of concealing or disguising the illicit origin of the property or of helping any person who is involved in the commission of the predicate offense to evade the legal consequences of his or her action. 2. The concealment or disguise of the true nature, source, location, disposition, movement or ownership of or rights with respect to property knowing that such property is the proceeds of crime, b. subject to the basic concepts of its legal system. 3. The acquisition, possession, or use of property, knowing, 
at the time of receipt, that such property is the proceeds of crime. 4. Participation in, association with or conspiracy to commit, attempts to commit and aiding, abetting, facilitating and counseling the commission of any of the offenses established in accordance with this article. Article 8. Criminalization of Corruption 1. Each party shall, in relation to offenses covered by this convention as provided in Article 3, adopt such legislative and other measures as may be necessary to establish as criminal offenses, when committed intentionally. a. The promise, offering, or giving to a public official, directly or indirectly, of an undue advantage, for the official himself or herself or another person or entity, in order that the official act or refrain from acting in the exercise of his or her official duties, be the solicitation or acceptance by a public official, directly or indirectly, of an undue advantage, for the official himself or herself or another person or entity, in order that the official act or refrain from acting in the exercise of his or her official duties. 2. Each party shall also consider establishing as criminal offenses other forms of corruption. 3. Each party shall also adopt such measures as may be necessary to establish as a criminal offense participation as an accomplice in an offense established in accordance with this article. Article 9. Criminalization of Obstruction of Justice. Each party shall in relation to offenses covered by this convention as provided in Article 3, adopt such legislative and other measures as may be necessary to establish as criminal offenses, when committed intentionally, a. The use of physical force, threats or intimidation or the promise, offering or giving of an undue advantage to induce false testimony or to interfere in the giving of testimony or the production of evidence in a proceeding in relation to the commission of offenses covered by this convention. b. The use of physical force, threats or intimidation to interfere with the exercise of official duties by a justice or law enforcement official in relation to the commission of offenses covered by this convention. Nothing in this paragraph shall prejudice the right of parties to have legislation that protects other categories of public officials. Article 10. Jurisdiction. 1. Each party shall adopt such measures as may be necessary to establish its jurisdiction over the offenses established in accordance with Article 5, Article 6, Article 7, Article 8, and Article 9 of this Convention when a. The offense is committed in the territory of that party, or b. The offense is committed on board a vessel that is flying the flag of that party or an aircraft that is registered under the laws of that party at the time that the offense is committed. 2. Subject to Article 4 of this Convention, a party may also establish its jurisdiction over any such offense when a. The offense is committed against a national of that party. B. The offense is committed by a national of that party or a stateless person who has his or her habitual residence in its territory, or C. The offense is V. One of those established in accordance with Article 6, Paragraph 1, of this Convention and is committed outside its territory with a view to the commission of a serious crime within its territory. I. One of those established in accordance with Article 7, Paragraph b. 2. Of this convention and is committed outside its territory with a view to the commission of an offense established in accordance with Article 7, paragraph a, i, or, 2, or, b, i. Of this convention within its territory. 3. For the purposes of Article 19 of this convention, each party shall adopt such measures as may be necessary to establish its jurisdiction over the offenses covered by this convention when the alleged offender is present in its territory and it does not extradite such person solely on the ground that he or she is one of its nationals. 4. Each party may also adopt such measures as may be necessary to establish its jurisdiction over the offenses covered by this convention when the alleged offender is present in its territory, and it does not extradite him or her. 5. If a party exercising its jurisdiction under paragraph 
one or two of this article has been notified, or has otherwise learned, that one or more other parties are conducting an investigation, prosecution or judicial proceeding in respect of the same conduct. The competent authorities of those parties shall, as appropriate, consult one another with a view to coordinating their actions. 6. Without prejudice to norms of general international law, this convention does not exclude the exercise of any criminal jurisdiction established by a party in accordance with its domestic laws.